we have to write a program to swap two numbers. And this is done using a temporary variable over here. So our logic behind writing down this program is that you have a temporary variable to which you are assigning your value of x. So the value of x is assigned to a temp and you are assigning the value of y to the variable x. Further, the value which you have stored previously in your temp, that is the value of x, is now stored into y. So if you see, your x contains the value of your y and your y contains the value of your x at the end of the program. So this is how you can swap two numbers using a temporary variable. Let us take an example to make this logic pretty clear. If you see, we have the value of x to be 5 and y to be 8. Consider a temporary variable temp. So you have the value of x to be 5 and you are assigning that to temp. And you have the value of y to be 8. Assign it to 8. Assign to x. And then you are assigning the value of temp to y. So now your x will have its value to be 8 and your y will have its value to be 5. If you see, our values are interchanged. That's cool, right? Let us do this using a program. Initially, we are including our standard libraries followed by our main function for which we'll be having the main statements which we have to execute. So we have to get the numbers, that is the two numbers which we have to swap. For that we are writing a print statement followed by a scan statement. And we are getting two values. And further, we are printing the numbers before swapping so that we have a clear output of what the numbers are before swapping. And using the similar logic, what we've explained before, we'll be taking the value of the first number to temp and the second value to be our A and we'll assign the value stored in our temp to be B. So if you see, now our A will have the value of B and our B will have the value of A. As simple as that. Then we can simply display our value of A and B. That is done using a printf statement. Thus, we can display the swapped two numbers.